Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. Today is kind of a different video and I just decided to do it kind of spur of the moment because of just what's happening in life. So uh, you may have known if you have subscribed to my channel or watched any of my other videos. If you haven't, please do consider subscribing. It would mean so very much to me and it really does help out content creators. If you like the video, um, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. So anyway, I am a doll collector and I've been a doll collector my entire life. And recently there was an auction. It was going to be an online auction, but they had a preview day. So my mom and I, I took her down to the auction so we could kind of go through and look and see what they had, um, see what the quality of them was up close instead of just bidding on them on the internet. And I get in there and there's an entire table, not a big table, like a little card table kind of thing with perfumes on it. And I go, oh, those must be for the next auction. And they said, no, we just added them because I had already looked on the list and they weren't they weren't online as part of the auction. So I have some perfumes that I ended up buying in this auction and I wanted to share them with you and tell you kind of what the lots were that I got and how much I paid for them because I think I got a really great deal. And it's really fun because some of these perfumes I'm not familiar with like at all. We're gonna start with the lot that I think probably is the most exciting for most people. And I know I was excited and I got this for $17. One, one lot was $17, one lot was $17.09. I don't remember which one was which, but it's an opium lot. So opium from YSL, we have this little mini one that I got. That's the first one. It has a little bit in there still. I was looking at these bottles and trying to date them and I know they're all pre-2009 when they reformulated and put them in the bottles that look like black opium. So I know they're slightly older bottles, but they're a little dusty. They, these are all EDTs too, which was very different than what I'm used to. Then I got this one. These were all in the same lot. So $17 for these. And then there's one more that I'm sh going to show you too. This smells so good. I haven't like sprayed it, sprayed it yet. But uh, yeah, I was very excited about this. I was like, wow, vintage opium. I, I was very surprised to see that. We're gonna give it a spray on the, the tester strip. I haven't smelled opium either. Like it is um, something that I've heard about and I've wanted to smell and I've actually thought about buying a bottle to match my black opiums, but I haven't ever done that. This definitely smells like the 1970s to me, like that type of a perfume smell. It's it's pretty strong, but it's still like very pretty. Yeah, I think I don't think it's gone bad. I think it is nice. It's one that I'll use sparingly. Like this is not like what I would wear to work probably, but I, I really could see like myself enjoying it. The other thing that I got is this bottle and I'm very excited about this one. Uh, so this is actually a dabber bottle and I think think it might have a issue with it. If you know anything about opium, please let me know down below because this is all new to me. Uh, so it's a, it's very interesting. I was kind of nervous that it's just this type of a thing, but I heard sometimes, at least I was trying to look these up. Um, I heard that they have like a, a wand or something on the end. Anyway, I got this one and I was very surprised by it because I was not expecting a dabber. I don't know why, but once I started looking up a little bit about black opium and I don't, or opium, I don't know anything about opium. So if you know anything about these and you can help me date them, please let me know down below. Anyway, this one is very interesting. It's very cool. And I figured for $17, even if they didn't smell good and I wouldn't wear them, just to have the old, the older bottles would have been really cool and a pretty good deal for what I got them for. So that was the first lot. There were some other lots, perfume lots, and some of them were going higher than I wanted to pay for a used bottle of perfume that I wasn't sure of the age or like, you know, if it still smelled good or anything. So they did have Chanel Chance. I was hoping to get Chanel Chance and Chanel Gabrielle, but those both went over $60. And while that's not a bad price, like that would be probably pretty good. You know, I didn't want to keep bidding against people and just keep them going up and up. And Coco Mamoiselle was already, went pretty high 
uh, pretty immediately. So they had those. They had some other ones. They had like White Shoulders. They had like a Giorgio Hills. They had a whole bunch of different lots, which was really cool to kind of see them and to see which ones people were interested in. I was more interested in just a couple of them and I didn't want to like spend a lot of money on them. This next lot was mostly uh, minis. It did have one full size in it, which is seen better days. This is Estee Lauder's Pleasures. We're going to give this one a spray. The cap is a little, oh, I don't know if I like, it's kind of, I don't know. This one might have gone off. I need to look up the notes on this, but it's kind of like sickly sweet, but a little off-putting at the same time. I don't know. I don't think Pleasures was like a fragrance that I was crazy about in the first place, even if it was like a um, good full-size perfume. So I had that one. Then there was this just travel, you know, tester of Kenzo World. It does sound like it still has some stuff in it. So this is supposed to be uh, fruity floral. I will definitely give this one a try. Um, this will go in my samples and, you know, this is a two day affair right here. The rest of this lot was all just like little mini perfumes and that's really why I got it because I do love miniature perfumes and I do um, collect them. So this first one was Fendi. I was like, oh, that was really what got me is I really wanted, oh no, I just dropped one on the floor. I really wanted a Fendi perfume and it does have like, it's really nice detailing. So let's give it a sniff. I can't really get any scent from it right now. So I think I will try to um, put a little in a spray sprayer and test it that way. Or I might just leave it and just enjoy how they look. This is the one that I dropped on the ground. This is La Air de Temps. It's an EDT. So um, just little and tiny. It has a cute little um, top on it. Oh, it's a screwer. Um, I think my nose is a little overwhelmed with stuff. I think <clears throat> I also have some stuff on my hands, so it's a little harder to um, smell things. Then I have two Giorgio Beverly Hills. This one is a sprayer and this one is just a um, dabber. So yeah, there's a little cloudiness in this one. Like I said, I didn't exactly get these to actually wear. I got them also just um, for display because they were cute and they weren't too bad of a price. The last two in this lot, and this is the one that I paid $17 for, or $17.09. Um, I have this one that's a Plumeria perfume. It's not listed what it is, who it's from at all. And this is a rollerball. Eh. I don't really get anything from it. I am wearing perfume though, so. And then this one, this is another reason why I really wanted this one. This is Passion by Elizabeth Taylor, and I am a huge Elizabeth Taylor fan, been an Elizabeth Taylor fan almost all of my life. So to get like a little miniature from her perfume was pretty exciting. The last lot was absolutely huge, and I was surprised at how many perfumes came in this lot and how nobody else really bid on it. So um, I have some boxes and and perfumes and boxes. These are all made in Hawaii. Um, they're forever florals. So Pikaia? Pika Ki? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a jasmine blossom. So we got that. Got two of the Plumeria and I wondered if this might be the same as that other one that I just showed that was a mini. It doesn't really say so I have no idea. Then I got this one from Garden that's Gardenia. And then there are two of this one, and this is uh, the Hawaiian Orchid. This one, though, I opened it to smell, and it was, like, everywhere. It has leaked, unfortunately, because I don't know who opened it, but it could have been somebody, you know, at the auction that decided to smell it. So I did lose most of this bottle of perfume at... These are just twist on and off up here and it's still like I have, there's stuff everywhere on it. The reason I really wanted this set, like I pay, didn't really pay attention to those boxes at all. I was looking at the two perfumes that were in the front. The two perfumes that were in the front are both from Bath and Body Works. We have Sparkling Peach and Fresh Pineapple. And I was like, oh, 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 I really, I really want these. 
So this set was $16. I got eight perfumes. So that's like $2 a piece. I'm very excited about that. So let's let's smell them all because that's that's why we're here, right? We're gonna start with Sparkling Peach. I, I've already sprayed this one on me. I couldn't resist like the night I got them. I sprayed peach on one wrist and pineapple on the other one. This one is really nice. It does smell like peaches, but it smells almost a little bit like peaches that have been put in like almost like sangria, but there's like a fizzy kind of quality to it, but it's maybe champagne. That's what it is. It's like peaches and champagne because there's just a little sharpness and like bubbliness to it that isn't like your traditional peach. Uh, so good. I I would totally, this might not be enough for me because I've been looking for a good peach scent and this one is really good. And then of course we have fresh pineapple and I didn't even know they had, I like, I vaguely remember sparkling peach, but fresh pineapple, no way did I ever know about this. This smells like, oh, so good. So if you like pineapple, this is going to be like an artificial type of pineapple. It's really bright. It's really sweet. It's a very sweet pineapple. Uh, I swear that there's been something else that I've smelled that's similar to this. This isn't like the coconut pineapple body wash that I just finished. This is more pineapple, but it also smells really familiar at the same time. I'm, I'm very excited. Like I would have paid $16 each for these probably. Um, definitely for the two of them. And then I got all these other ones as bonus. So this is what the bottles look like. Perfumes of Hawaii. This is the Hawaiian, both of these are Hawaiian orchids. They are 1.2 full ounces. I'm going to spray the one that doesn't look as, um, that looks a little bit nicer. That's a little bit fresher looking. Uh, kind of give it a smell. I have no idea what these are going to smell like. I just kind of like the idea of perfumes that were made in Hawaii. Um, that's just very cool and that they're all like tropical. Not that I've ever been to Hawaii, but my parents lived in Hawaii for a while before I was born. This is, I feel like this is the same with pleasures that I just looked at or smelled. There's something in it that smells a little funky, but it also smells good at the same time. Like. I'm not sure. It's definitely one that I will need to wear on skin. And at the very least, I have these cool boxes to look at. So this says, I'm gonna read the backs because it's kind of cool. The Regal Okika, the Hawaiian art orchid, symbolizes the elegance and hospitality of the islands. Its dainty petals and delicate stems belie the strength of this beautiful flower. And its subtle fragrance stirs the emotions like the promise of exotic romance. Ooh. Hawaiian orchid is part of a line of tropical fragrances presented by Perfumes of Hawaii, one of the oldest perfume companies in the islands. I wouldn't have expected them to have multiple perfumers. Um, this mist cologne captures the velvet clarity of orchid essential oils. With one quick spray, you will walk through its cooling mist and into the brace and aloha of Hawaii. So it's made in Hawaii. Um, it's made in Honolulu and it's islandergroup.com. All right, let's look at Gardenia next. This is just a 7.5 or 7.5 mil. So this is like a rollerball, I'm assuming, because I don't see a sprayer in it. Yes, um, I'm gonna roll it on the back of my hand. I will say I'm not, oh, I'm not the biggest Gardenia fan. This one is very, um, very boring. It does say forever florals on it. So this says, beautiful to behold this with a fragrance sent from heaven. The lovely Gardenia thrives in the warm climates of the Pacific. Wrap yourself in the magnificent fragrant, fragrance and keep a tiny, or keep a little piece of paradise forever in your heart. Um, and it does have Hawaiian water in it, which is kind of an interesting uh, thing to list. I'm not a big gardenia fan. I think it smells like every other gardenia that I've smelled. So if you like gardenia, this would probably be a good one for you. Let's look at um, Picake. I don't know. Um, so this is these delicate intoxicating jasmine blossoms are known as Picake, um, which is also the Hawaiian word for peacock. Okay. Both existed in abundance in the glorious and resplendent gardens past 
of our uh, gardens past of our own Princess Kulani. Uh, strands of these tiny flowers make up the lei we wear for weddings or special occasions. Okay. Um, I'm really trying with the Hawaiian words and. Oh. Okay, so this one is a fancier bottle. It looks a little bit different. This is a one ounce, so it's a slightly different style. I. This one is pretty strong. Um, this is not like the, t definitely not the typical jasmine that I am used to. Um, they, it's it's much sweeter, and I feel like I feel like jasmine usually has like a spiciness to it, and this is just like a very sweet floral. Um, not quite as strong as gardenia, but definitely um, along those lines. Uh, very, very heavy floral, that's for sure. All right, these are my last two. They're the same scent. Um, just trying to get an eye for what they look like. So this is Plumeria, and this is this sweet fragrance of Hawaiian Plumeria. Wash softly in the gentle trade winds. Islanders frequently wear a lay of these fragrant blossoms or just a single flower in their hair. Indulge in this island tradition with the warm, inviting fragrance of our Plumeria cologne. So that's what they look like. Um, I don't know why I always thought growing up that Plumeria was related to a plum. Obviously, no relation whatsoever. Oh, this is probably my favorite of all of them. It's pretty, but it does have like a little, little edge to it. But yeah, if you wanted to smell tropical, I think this one would probably be, this would be my first choice to wear of all of these. But like I said, I got them for the other ones, so I don't know if I will wear these all that much. Um, but I am excited that they all came in their boxes because I am going to definitely display these all out there. Um, and my mom actually probably will wear these because she, you know, she loved um, the smell of the island. So I think she will probably enjoy wearing these more than me. So that's it. That is my perfume haul, my auction perfume haul. Very unexpected. But, you know, I don't think I spent too much under $50 for all of this. I think under 50 Right around 50 I guess um, 34 plus 16 50 plus you know tax and the 10% buyers fee on top of it so under 60 for all of it when you calculate in all of those two and I got eight nine ten ten like pretty pretty good sized fragrances and then you also had all of those minis as well let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances, what your thoughts and opinions are on them. If you have any information on any of them, leave it down below so that we can all learn. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.